as a student, you were not allowed to go to a contemporary dance class. Unbelievable. And now you, contemporary dance is part of our curriculum. So I was a bit of a rebel, really, I suppose. But I had a lot of time off as well to be able to go and do things. And that's when I started acting. Right, right. So you were in a film when you were 19? Yeah. Um, filming in Singapore for yeah. six weeks? The Virgin Soldiers. <laughs> Which seems a little unlikely, no. <laughs> you know, compared with all these great ballets. I had to learn how to uh, do drill on the, you know, on the uh, tarmac, and uh, we all, we had a proper sergeant major. But I was so bad, I'd end up having to run round the uh, drill hall with a sten gun above my head four times because we were laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was pretty severe. But and I you got, could have been an actor because Columbia offered you a contract. Yeah, I was offered a five-year contract after that film because um, it was the days in the days of Dustin Hoffman where you didn't have to be good looking to be the lead in a movie anymore they were going to for more character people and I was very young and they thought they could develop something there I, I should rephrase that actually I, when you say I, you could have been an actor you were an actor but you could have been yeah. I was serious about acting as well I, I went to um, the National Theatre's coaches and I got the part of um, Ariel in The Tempest in Regent's Park um, with a guy called Michael Dennison as Prosper and all the big wigs, you know. And it was great. I just loved it. And then I went on to do rep. Yep. I did rep in York, um, uh, The Servant of Two Masters, Hey, Truffaldino. And then I did um, She Stoops to Conquer with Judy Dench. My God, was I out of my depth. <laughs> What I wouldn't do like? it. I wouldn't she, even think of doing it. What was she now. like, though? Was she generous? She was incredible, actually. You know, you have to have a read through on the first day. It's frightening. You have to sit there, and <laughs> like this, waiting for my lines to come. You know, and I looked across at her, and she was sitting with a pair of point shoes on, <laughs> ballet shoes with cross legs like this, and just looked at me, winked then took them off quietly and put them back in the bag. I was the only one who saw it. <laughs> and it was to make me feel at home. Oh, bless. Yes. Yeah, Wonderful. Really and then she, we were to work it together in Cats. Yeah. Because she was going to be Grizabella. And we were rehearsing it. And uh, unfortunately, she snapped her Achilles tendon and never got to play in it. And she was chosen by Trevor Nunn to be the first Grizabella. And Elaine Page was brought in, I think, two nights before the first preview. <coughs> You know, so For fate. so many reasons, that almost did not happen, Kaz, didn't it? Oh, yes, it was terrible. Because Andrew Lloyd Webber had to remortgage his house. Yes. And... Oh, no, everybody was on tender hooks, and did we feel it? it you what, were Mr. It Sotheby's. wasn't an easy birth, shall we put that way? <laughs> no, but to be fair, you contributed. Apparently, you had a strop and walked off, and it was only when they'd given you another dance and put your name on the poster that you came back again. Well, that's true. 